Welcome to the highlights of the first one day between India and Zimbabwe here at the Harare Sports Club. It is India summer that now continues on to Zimbabwe after what have been scintillating performances in the Caribbean and of course the Champions Trophy. This one is coming to you from the Harare Sports Club, the very first one day out. Had a quick look at the pitch initially on. There were a few cracks in the middle, uh, which could trouble the batsman a little bit. A little bit of grass cover that certainly would assist the bowlers uh, initially on, uh, giving the seamers a little bit of an opportunity to do something with it. The toss in this case was absolutely crucial. Virat Kohli won the toss and elected to bowl first, putting the Zimbabwe team into bat. Chasing has been much easier at this ground on the past conditions and Zimbabwe would have a lot to go for as far as Sikinda Raza and Sean Williams have been in good form as we come into this and a lot of that responsibility falls on the shoulders of Brendan Taylor. Two debutants for Team India here in Ambati Raidu and Jaydev Banitkar and of course big expectations are Ashoka Dhawan and Rohit Sharma who've been impressive in their opening combination already amassing three century spans. So let's go and see what happens in the first innings. It's over to Pami Mbappé. Sekunda Raza Butt. So still new to international cricket. Likes to hit the ball. Uh, and uh, maybe his one flaw is playing across the line of the ball onto the leg side. He'll have to play straight today. And this was Sisbanda, 29 years old. And plays all the shots. That's one thing for sure. His problem in times past has been just reining himself in somewhat. He's been able to get starts and not quite go on. Vinay Kumar, 29 years old. Solid campaigner, gives 100%. Not particularly quick, but bowls really good areas and is good at setting the tone up front. Has a good mindset as a bowler, is a medium pacer with a, a mindset of someone who's much quicker. And tries to impose himself on the situation. Set then for the first one day international of five. They left alone first up, uh, two slips in place, no gully, just backward point cover and mid off and on the onside. And mid wicket and mid on. And then third man finally, like a very much a regulation field. We'll just have a look here to see what this pitch does. Dirk Foluno's out there earlier. The expectation is up front, they'll be a little bit in it for the fast bowlers. There you go, just a little bit of sideways movement. Don't expect it to be quick. Yeah, I hope it doesn't play too much of a part, the wicket, uh, well, the toss more. And that one has gone sideways. We said there were a couple of cracks as well. That's a nice shot. A really nice shot. Just a punchy lent on it onto that onside and it goes all the way for four yeah we said he was strong on the leg side the secret was that he didn't try and overhead it he just leant on this and you can see as it left his bat it was gonna arrive for four the outfield is pretty quick maybe just guilty of trying a bit too much now he's done the bouncer the outswinger and this one trying to get a little bit straighter to force him to play forward and too straight and uh, but gets the first boundary for Zimbabwe reached out at it didn't quite get all of it but gets the desired result runs three of them yeah i don't think that's a bad result it might not be pretty but uh, at some stage zimbabwe we have to throw something at these deliveries and uh, maybe the secret here he didn't try and overhead it he didn't try to keep it down he knew it was going to be with he's expecting it to swing out let me just have a look if uh, he's pulled this back looked good to me and I think uh, he's done well there. Let's have one more look. Nah, I think that's good. I think that's good work. Lovely shot. Elegance personified from Vuzi Sabanda. 
He looks so accomplished when he gets in good positions and hits straight down the ground. And there's evidence of that fact. Overpitched by the bowler then. Really well played by Vosisibanda. Straight bat. Showing the maker's name and down the ground, four runs. Short, wide, this time Vuzi Sabanda onto it in a flash. Up and over, backward point, so a much needed boundary insofar as the Zimbabweans concerned. A little bit loose from Jai Devon Nutcutt, and Vuzi Sabanda made no mistake. <laughs> Nicely played by Sikanda Raza. There's a man fielding a sh short, fine leg. Leg slip, in fact. And he decided to take him on with the touch sweep. And got enough on it to get it away for four. <laughs> Nicely played by Raza, but you could see he was trying to get under the ball and lift it over that fielder. Short on the leg side. Very well bowled. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. It's going to cost four runs, but it was actually very well bowled. Genuine edge. And uh, have a look at that seam position. Didn't really turn much, maybe, uh, but looking for that gap between cover and point. That is a beautiful shot. That's, well, that's the shot of the morning, um, and it may well be the only contender. Yeah, it was absolutely classic. Yeah, there's not too many fours to choose from, but uh, what a great shot from uh, Vossi Sabanda. You'd probably find that you would have thought to turn that on the leg side for one, and he's just lobbed it over Madon, who's in up on the circle. Didn't try to overhit it. Look at that balance as well. Great shot from Sabanda. Oh, that's again another edge, and uh, I think it's carried. Well, we'll have a look. Jadeja finds the edge. Did it carry to the skipper? Oh, yeah, of course it did. Absolutely. Oh, dear. That's gone straight in. That's shin height. I have to say, it's pretty much uh, as regulation as you get. First slip. That's uh, a good shot. He hasn't read what looked like a googly. And uh, umpire Oxenford has given him out four dot balls and a wicket. Absolute beauty. Googly from uh, Misha. Look at the beautiful. It's been turning away and then it turns. Oh, that's an absolute beauty from Misha. He was confident. Sabanda was on the front foot. He was hoping that might save him. But uh, no, he's gone. The finger's up. He's gone for 34. It's 72 for one. Well, Sean Williams is the new batsman, and uh, that's a change from the batting order that was advertised before the game. It may well have been a strategy that's been discussed at length for days and days and weeks leading up to this series. I suspect it has more to do with uh, the fact that he's probably Zimbabwe's best player of uh, spin. He's a left-hander. One ball to come. That's a top shot. Very well played. The reverse sweep by Sean Williams. That's to get off the mark. Well, he's been brought up the order for me to get the ball around the field with the spinners on, and uh, very nicely played reverse sweep from Sean Williams. He's been out of action with a bit of a hamstring strain in the last couple of weeks. But, uh, very nicely played. Shami Ahmed. 
Chapman for 13, got it to swing in his first spell. Shot, very well played. Just back of a length and put away for four. Beautifully by Sean Williams. Slightly short there from Shami Ahmed back in to the attack and Sean Williams puts that away beautifully over mid wicket. It's pulled away and pulled away well too as a man back couldn't get across to stop that going over the ropes. Four runs. 95 for one. That's bowled him. That's not a good shot from Williams. Maybe looking for that single on the offside. He's uh, played around one, and Suresh Rain has done the job for his captain. Yeah, he just didn't look comfortable this over. Tried to f play a few big shots away on the leg side on this occasion. Flicking the front pad, cannoning into the stumps. And a second wicket for India, the first for Suresh Rainer. Williams, the end of him, gone for 15. Zimbabwe now 105 for two. Zimbabweans have lost their second wicket, and that means Hamilton Masakadza has come to the crease. And still no Brendan Taylor, but he played pretty well in the warm-up game against Australia. Did Masakadza got 69 in a very low-scoring affair. There's his one-day international career. Best of 178, not out 300s, 1950s. So he's uh, one of the go-to men in the Zimbabwe lineup. <coughs> And he's going to get it. Finally, gets one out onto the offside to the sweeper. And he's played pretty well. Deserved. It was hard early on. The ball was moving around. There was plenty of swing, plenty of seam. And he's got a well deserved half century. There's Team Raza in the stand supporting. And he hasn't let them down. He'll be very happy. Will be Sikandar Raza, but just new in international cricket and he's brought up his first half century against a very good side in the form of world champions India he's gone and he's got it over Goes again, he wasn't quite there. Done in the air by Amit Mishra. And right off the bottom of the bat, they're going to get through for two. But signalling his intentions here, Hamilton Masakata. If you keep your fielders in for Ed Kohli, I'm going to take him on. Yeah, it was pretty well bowled as well. He just saw him coming a little bit early, threw it a little bit wider. And uh, no different to the last one. Because of his strength, Masakadza able to get it over mid on. Definitely not convincing. Oh, that's not a good shot. Another leg, but leg googly rather, and Mishra has cleaned him up. So, uh, what looked to be uh, promising, Masakadza getting stuck in, and he's been cleaned up by Mishra. Yeah, I didn't pick it. Simple as that. There's the Google straight through the gate. The classic dismissal for a leg spinner that throws in that Google to a right-hander. Masakadza didn't read it, trying to go over mid on again. Missed it by quite a long way in the end. Middle stump, Bales dislodged, and Zimbabwe lose another. Hamilton Masakadza gone for 11. Zimbabwe now 119 for three. <laughs> Brendan Taylor, the captain, is to the crease. It's too late, Beaten all ends up. There is a perfectly placed Google straight through the garden gate and cannoned into middle stump. So they're losing their way slightly here in these middle overs, the Zimbabweans. <coughs> As Ahmed. Yeah, that's too short on this wicket. It just sits up and uh, good shot by Sekinda Razabad. 
It's up in the air. Has it got the legs? Yes, it has. Great strike from Sekunda Raza. Overpitched from Vinay Kumar. And that big bottom hand came into play and got it straight down the ground for maximum. Yeah, it didn't look like he got all of this, but it was full enough for him to get enough power behind it. He's known in Zimbabwe for playing big shots. The beauty about this, he went nice and straight. And he's almost uh, hit that from inside the crease. Uh, not much over the boundary, but enough. Oh, he's just cleared mid-off. Well, Tina Moy, you've seen uh, Sekunda Raza button, that kind of a shot. May rise, raise some eyebrows around uh, the rest of the world, but not for you. You've seen this boy hit the ball. Seen this boy hit the ball and we've seen him hit it well. Just a little slap over middle, four runs for Razabat. We spoke earlier about him playing a little bit out of character at the beginning of the innings, but uh, when you've done the hard work at the beginning of the innings, you can afford to play shots like that a little bit later on. Yeah, we said at the time he has the ability to catch up said that about Vusi Sabanda as well but uh, this is power play time and he certainly needs to do a little bit of catching up oh shot oh he's picked that up magnificently oh it's gone all the way well, it's a good job the boundary rope is in <laughs> seven or eight paces from the edge of the field otherwise that was straight down deep mid wicket's throat but as it is well it's the perfect seven iron beautifully played here by Raza but He's picked it up off the legs and over deep at wicket. Six runs. And uh, Sekunda Razabat in his element now. Out. Straight to deep backward square leg. And Brendan Taylor is on his way. JW Nutcut has his man. Taylor was looking to accelerate, looking to cash in on the last couple of overs of the power play. Hit it pretty well, but uh, it looked like he was trying to roll his wrists and just maybe hit the top half of the bat. And a good catch from Suresh Reina out in the deep. Fairly straightforward, but uh, Taylor's gone for 12, and Zimbabwe are 162 for four. Straight through, well bowled. Just a tiny bit of shape, but I think what his problem was that he played over the top of it. It's very well bowled. Looks like it's just a nip back off the wicket. Malcolm Waller, not really in a position to play that. It's a nice seam from the bowler. Off the pad, it's just angled in and. Uh, He's gone. Malcolm Waller's gone for two. Zimbabwe now 166 for five. Beautifully played by Alton Chikambura. Slightly picked up. He's picked that up and he's hit it over extra cover. And he's got four runs. Well, I've put the mockers on. Another good piece of bowling by Amit Mishra and trying to play two square really, not there to pull and it hurried on and rocketed into the middle stump. So Zimbabwe have lost another with a crucial stage in this innings. They're pretty happy team Raza and he's played pretty well, the youngster. It looked like another googly to me or maybe the one that went straight on. Oh, that's a good delivery. He's uh, worked out these batsmen, has Mishra. He's upset with himself. But he's played pretty well, has Sekunda Raza, but 82 of 112 balls. Zimbabwe, 176 for six. Too short from Vinay Kumar. He's uh, allowing Chukumbura uh, pretty easy shots. Too short and put away into the vacant mid-wicket area. He's really bowled loose deliveries in this spell, but that was a rank long up. Oh, 
And it's up in the air, and it's a very, very good shot. Tell you what, that is a brilliant stroke from Tinatenda Mutambozi. Right over extra cover for maximum. 46 gone, the 200 up, 204 for six. Yeah, what a great shot. We said this guy can hold a bat. He's gone over extra cover. A little bit of width from Mishra. Probably expecting him to play across the line. And he's just stood in his crease and smashed it over the extra cover boundary. They like it. And so will the Zimbabwe team. Great shot. Got him. There's nobody out on that offside. And trying to find the gap. Picks out the man to perfection. Beautiful shot in the last over and probably hit that one pretty much near the middle of the bat as well, Tinotena Mutambozi, but wasn't able to get it up and over. Yeah, it's a pretty, another meter and it would have gone away for four. He got uh, a decent amount of bat on it, but could not get it past the fielder. Darwin was the man. So another wicket down, the seventh for Zimbabwe. Mutambozi has gone for eight of just the seven balls, 205 for seven. It's gone big. There's a man out there, but he will not catch that. It's gone all the way for six. So you could not have asked for a better finish to the over for Zimbabwe. Elton Chikambura, great timing. He helps that over mid-wicket. 47 gone, 214 for seven. Yeah, what a great shot, Chikambura. Two straight from Vinay Kumar. He would have been nervous of the fact that he's got no one on the boundary on the offside. And clears the boundary with ease, does Chikambura. Muscled away down the ground. He's a strong lad, as Elton Chickenborough. Length, slower ball. Still not able to find the gap, find the boundary. So it will just be a single. So a healthy ending for the Indians. They'll be very happy with what has transpired here this morning, having won the toss and elected to bowl first. He'll be very happy for Red Coley that they've restricted the Zimbabweans to 228 for seven. Probably would have wanted a few more wickets early on when the ball was seeming and swinging about. But at the end of uh, the 50 overs, he'll probably be in uh, the better mental state insofar as the state of the game. So Zimbabwe certainly managed to frustrate the Indian bowlers for the first 20 overs or so. Sikandar Raza coming through with 82 there, slow and steady, his uh, first half century. Nothing much from uh, the middle order until Chukumbura came on, put on a 43, which gave them a fighting total of about 228. But the real breakthrough came from Amit Mishra, surprising given the conditions, the fact that you would expect something from the seamers, but it was Amit Mishra who made the breakthrough. He amassed three wickets towards the end of it, and it was a crucial wicket from Suresh Raina at the dream got the momentum back into India's favour. Very disciplined as far as the bowling was concerned. Just a touch towards the end from Vinay Kumar. They didn't get away from it, but otherwise very good uh, economy rate from uh, most of the Indian bowlers. Which means that Team India here have a total of 229 to chase, which wouldn't seem too big given the conditions, especially that bowling or rather chasing is much easier on uh, this wicket, and that's exactly what they need from uh, 50 overs at 4.58 here at the Harari Sports Club. We'll be back to see what India's chase is going to be like this. Stay with us. Here's Rohit Sharma. A terrific uh, opening partnership with uh, Shikhar Dhawan, who's made a stunning start to his uh, international career. Some say belated start, but uh, there were some very, very big names at the top of the order that he had to wait for, wait for his uh, place in the queue. Kyle Jarvis has led the attack for a couple of years now. It's just 24, but uh, he's uh, proven to be particularly dangerous with the new ball and his opening spells, and early wickets are what Zimbabwe need. Mm -hmm. 
uh, to poor delivery and uh, fine legs up in the circle. That's exactly where Jarvis does not want to be. Oh, well, that is so classic. Shekhar Dawan, my goodness, he played that throughout the Champions Trophy on uh, surprisingly dry and good batting wickets in England. But uh, he's not afraid to hit the ball in the air and always looks so in control exactly where he's placing it. Through the covers again. And probably has enough on it to get away for four. Beating backward point. Lovely timing from Shikha Darwin. Too full, too wide from Jarvis. Five gone, 19 for none. It's uh, not a great delivery. Unfortunately, once again, angled down the leg side. All he had to do is be helped along its way. Oh, it's straight up in the air. Got it. Well, that's what Jarvis was trying to do a little earlier when he was bowling the bouncer, but he was slanting it down the leg side. This time he's got it right. Spot on. I did call for them to be bowling more shorter stuff. And he's done that, Jarvis. Got it really spot on, as you mentioned, Neil Manthorpe, right at the head. Tucked him up for room. Bit of pace as well. Top edge-ish. And Malcolm Waller down at fine leg made no mistake. So just the breakthrough the Zimbabweans needed. Shikadawan, the dangerous Shikadawan, gone for 17. India now 26 for one. Skipper comes to the crease for Kohli, the age of uh, 24, on his second tour of Zimbabwe. He was here three years ago in a triangular series with uh, Sri Lanka. A series in which India lost twice to Zimbabwe. Shot, beautiful shot. Over pitch by Jarvis. And Kohli puts it away in fine style. Yeah, I'm wondering what he was trying to bowl there. I'd like to think he wasn't trying to bowl a Yorker. Virat Kohli, have a look at this. Oh, that is picture perfect. It's up. A long way up. Can Waller get to it? No, it's gone for four. a shot good shot lots of work in the deep too much work in the deep got him that's him gone outside the Austin drew the drive and a little edge through to ta to Taylor yeah, nothing fantastic about the delivery, but he finds the edge and maybe a chance where they were just getting a little bit complacent, but a good edge nevertheless, and uh, the captain Taylor does the rest. Chikambura, the uh, backup seamer, has drawn Rohit Sharma out, side off stump, and he finds the edge. Sharma's gone for 20. Zimbabwe pick up an important wicket, 57 for two. I think the kids like that tune. Is he bopping to it? In the meanwhile, Ambati Raidu has walked out to the middle. <laughs> this is a dismissal. Yeah, that's sort of stump. I'm not so sure about too much movement, but maybe a little bit complacent from Rohit Sharma. Just get the feeling that uh, India are in full control at the moment. They have lost a couple of wickets, but uh, they're certainly making steady progress, and uh, that's a lovely shot. Just delayed by Virat Kohli. Watch how late he plays it. Almost cheekily late. It's almost gone past him. Knows exactly where the gap is. Waits. Look at that. He's hit it. Well, at least alongside him. 
We got. That's a lovely shot. A lot of bottom hand in that. Just flicked it away through mid on. Super shot from Virat Kohli. That's a poor delivery to the field. He's just given him too much width outside the off stump. And that's the danger, isn't it? I mean, if it's one thing if the captain says, listen, why don't you just try this? Go round the wicket. Then the bowler can stand with his hands on his hips and say, you see, I can't bowl to this field. But this is something that, uh, say, as you say, it's been working on. It's a theory of his own. It's just a poor ball. That is the thing, Neil, bowling around the wicket and having the whole side field all up. If you do give them that width, the Indians will make sure they counter that. Which they've done twice already this afternoon. Number D Ray Udu. India are matching the required run rate over by over. 18 gone, 81 for two. <laughs> Delicately played. He's just opened the face and run that down to third man. Four runs from Virat Kohli. India move on to 92 for two. I must say the outfield here at Harare Sports Club is uh, quicker than it has been for oh, a number of years. Great shot from uh, Virat Kohli, just a whip of the wrists and uh, great placement again shows the class of this man, gets him to one short of his 50 really good use of the feet he goes back and he's quick as well because it's not very short but he's able to use the horizontal bat and get it away in the gap for four out of the crease this time to get to the pitch and he gets a single that takes him to a half century 50 from 57 balls for Virat Kohli 112 for two. It's a good shot, it really is. Just lean on it onto the onside. Valiant effort of the Mola. But it was just too well timed. It's gone for four. Tell you what, another secret of his innings, apart from the timing, has been his placement. He's been superb. I mean, it's almost like he's already picked that spot. He knows there's runs there, he just smashes it in that gap. In the gap. Probably won't get away to the boundary for four. Malcolm Waller it is doing the tidying up in the deep. But uh, even even if they go on to lose this, there'll be some positives that they can take out of it. And Razabad getting his uh, highest score. Chikambura, welcome return to form. And uh, striking the ball as we all know that he can strike it. Now then, did he get fingertips to that? It very unfair to call it a chance. It's going to go away to the boundary for four. But just for a minute, he was interested. Hamilton Masakadza, 33 going, 154 for two. Now then, let's have a look. Didn't get all of it, and yeah, he just got fingertips to it. But uh, yeah, it'd be hard to call that a chance. And once it got past the mid-off, was always going to run away for four. Lovely shot, really is. He's a serious player, is this bloke Virat Kohli. And down the wicket, 
and brutally punches it down the ground for four. Finds the gap and should go away to the boundary for four. Lovely placement and timing again from Virat Kohli. And he's taking his team home pretty easily here, showing all the class in the world. It's been very severe on anything with width, Virat Kohli. And uh, short and wide, and he's put that away beautifully back with a point for four. lovely stroke everybody just stood and watched smashed it through the covers for four end of the 37th 181 for two lovely really skillful short from Tendai Chitara he waited on it brilliantly did Virat Kohli knew exactly where he wanted to play it knew the third man was a little squarer played it quite brilliantly the uppercut Alton Chikambura back into the attack only bowled the four overs up to now got the important wicket of Rohit Sharma and given another opportunity now on the power play overs by Captain Taylor. Just for a second, maybe he thought he was in with a chance. Buzi Sabander, he's so quick, but so is Virat Kohli, and made it pretty easily in the end. It's going to come back for two. So placing the ball in the gap at will. Virat Kohli and why not when you're going on at a runner ball been a really really good knock and just to enforce what a top player he is he's got his strike rate up now to 100% runner ball now then did that nearly carry to the man at short cover would have had his heart in his mouth for a while there Virat Kohli Just a little ahead of himself. Yes, it was up in the air, just in front. Mutambudzi would have thought he was briefly in with a chance. Nicely played down the ground. Takes Verrett Coley to 99. And... Uh, been a really well played innings he's led from the front Alistair as the captain standing in for MS Dhoni and he's taken the reins well this afternoon 1400s and 2450s in just 109 games average of just under 50 and there's that strike rate 86.7 best of 183 how about that for a career and he's only 24 50 for Ambati Raidu he's played well came in a little tricky situation has weathered the storm and played quite nicely as the perfect foil for his partner 193 for two Curly on 99 and there it is or is it no everyone in the circle <laughs> making sure that he doesn't have an easy single to get to the milestone so doing the right thing Brendan Taylor Nice and calm, Virat Cody. Very easy, Alistair. 49, 48, 99 to just hit the ball and think, well, it's in the gap, let me go for it. Ah, you'll get there. There was a bit of hesitation. He wasn't sure if he should go straight to the fielder, but he gets there in the end. And looks to the heavens, Virat Cody. Why not? 
Another good international hundred. He scored plenty of them, 14 up to now, so that's his 15th in only his 109th game. Strike rate of 86, an average of 9 on 50. Quite brilliant from the Indian captain. And he's come to the party again here in Harare to set his team up for what should be their first victory. Williams was the fielder, and he wasn't sure for a while, Kohli, but his partner, Mbati Raidu, called him through. And the relief of another milestone achieved in international cricket. Down the wicket, Virat Kohli beautifully played through extra cover. Four runs all along the ground. And uh, I think we'll see a little bit more of Virat Kohli's bat attacking the ball now that he's got to his 100. I've got a change in the commentary box. It's going to be Dirk for Ewan. And Neil Mantle. Just in the nick of time as well, because I think, as I suggested a little earlier, it is time for India to pull away. They can uh, see the finish line in sharp focus now, and uh, they've decided that uh, they've cruised for long enough. And they're going to move into fifth gear and even a sixth if they have one, because they've done enough to uh, done enough hard work to win this game now. They have played beautifully. Virat Kohli has been the star that we all know he is. And uh, well, he's had to wait till the, the bright old age of 27, and Bharti Rayudu, to make his one day debut. And he's marked the occasion with a 50. He'd like to make it an unbeaten one, and that could well be four more. That's a beautiful shot. Just so late. He's taken a real cue from uh, his skipper's lead with that shot playing it so late most batsmen would be keen to hit this through extra cover look at the way he waits hits it late behind square on the offside wonderful placement 13 from the over so far three fours and a single a couple of balls left and uh, as i said india feel victory now that is theirs They've probably been feeling that for quite some time, to be fair. Been a consummate professional performance with uh, bat, ball and in the field. Very few errors. The bowlers can all hold their heads up very proudly. Oh, look at that. No, oh, beautiful strike. What an expensive over that was. 20 from the over. The six to finish it. Kohli moves to 115. Rayudu 56. And uh, they're just 14 runs away from victory. What a delightful strike that was. 40 overs, 41 overs gone, 215 for two. Lucy Sabanda hangs on to the catch. <laughs> and uh, Virat Kohli is on his way. He's done enough. I'm sure he's probably not only done enough to win the match, but uh, to win the Man of the Match award as well, in all likelihood. But uh, he tried to clear the ropes once too often. Didn't quite get the elevation he was looking for. And uh, it's not easy down there in the shadows, Lucy Sabanda, but he judged it very well indeed. And that's the end of a wonderfully professional and uh, methodical innings, 115, 216 for three. Suresh Rayner comes to the crease. He hasn't got a lot of work uh, to do. Just 13 runs required. It's, uh, I won't say it's a no-win situation for Suresh Rayner because there's a match to be won. But uh, for him personally, uh, just a, a little seven or eight not out, the best he can hope for. And uh, maybe ten minutes at the crease. Just a, a little feel of uh, conditions. He's been here before, so 
just to reacquaint himself. There are two more matches coming up in the next five days. Yes! Yes! Oh, no, <laughs> my goodness me. Prosper Itzaya takes another wicket. And uh, I'm afraid the seven or eight not out in the ten minutes of the crease isn't going to materialise after all because he's gone for a second ball duck. That will irritate him no end. Uh, he is such a good player of spin and he's come down the wicket trying to head it over extra cover and straight to Sekunda but Can you believe it? He will not be happy with that Suresh Raina. Straight to cover. So uh, two wickets in three balls. Rayner goes for naught. India two one six for four. For the man known as DK, Dinesh Kartik makes his way out to the crease. He wouldn't have been expecting to have uh, been doing any batting when Suresh Rayner went to the crease, but uh, this is his demise. No pressure for the batsman, certainly, but no pressure for the bowler either, in a sense, because the match is gone and it's an opportunity perhaps for Mutumbudzi to uh, try a new delivery that he's been working on in the nets, if there are any. It's uh, well placed. So that uh, finishes it off just like that. And uh, what a nice finish for Rayudu. He gets to hit the winning runs to finish off 63 not out of 84 deliveries on debut. And what a good return for him. So congratulations all round for the men in blue, especially for Virat Kohli leading from the front. India winning this first one day uh, with, uh, by six wickets in fact. And nothing much from the openers in the beginning until Virat Kohli came on, smashed his 15th one day international century. But the real story was Ambati Raidu on debut, smashing 63 runs which would give him a lot of confidence as we look forward to the next couple of matches that are to come. They made it look quite easy. Uh, because there wasn't much from the Zimbabwe bowling attack, although Jarvis did look a little, uh, did look a little aggressive initially on the use seven bowlers in total, just not enough variety, and they'll certainly have to do a little bit of homework before they come back for the next couple of one days. Uh, just giving away very little, but uh, at the end of the day, it was India who comfortably made it. Remember, Sikandar Raza did end up giving a little bit of intention to his team in the beginning, getting them to a modest total of 228, but uh, Virat Kohli and Amriti Raidu just made a small little work of it towards the end. Amit Mishra would also be happy with the fact that he ended up picking up three wickets because he's certainly also looking to use this uh, tour as a bit of a comeback. No surprise to see Virat Kohli was the man of the match for his uh, century, also leading from the front in a nice, aggressive, settled style. All right, we'll be looking forward to your company later on as well. Thank you for watching the highlights. Until we meet again, goodbye.